Sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in and hi ho for Mr. Milo. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a marathon unboxing. I have 10 great subscription boxes to share with you. I have a couple boxes that haven't been on the channel for a while, so I'm pretty excited to open them and rediscover them with you guys. There's several boxes that are in and out of the channel every single month, and then there are several quarterly spring boxes to share, so a good variety. This video is going to be done in two parts. This is part one, so check back either tomorrow or in two days. I'm not sure how the video is going to fall for part two. You're not going to want to miss it. As always, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscription button. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. I try to keep this a really uplifting place where you can come and exhale if you're having a bad day. And if you're stopping by for the first time, comment below where you're from so I can welcome you personally in the comments. All right, you guys, with all that being said, let's unbox. The first box we're going to take a look at is the Willow Nook box. This is a quarterly lifestyle subscription box. And I got to tell you, quarterly lifestyle boxes are my favorite to open. I love that you only get them four times a year and I love the variety inside. You can get home goods or decor or candles or jewelry or books. There's usually some artisan like handcrafted good in here. She always will take an original recipe from one of her subscribers and turn it into this really cool art card. So you can frame it or you can put it like on your cookbook stand and it can be used as art or obviously you can use it as a recipe in whatever you're cooking for the week. So this box is $99 a quarter and I do have a discount code for $10 dollars off your first box, which is quite a nice chunk. She also gave me a discount for 20% off anything else on her site. With all that being said, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, this is a winter box. I think she had a little back order issue with an item or two that was supposed to be in this box. So the winter box is still available. And I like, I mean, some people would say that's Christmas trees, but they're not decorated. I think a winter box should have some, you know, pine trees and things and then a snowy scene, if you will. All right. So when you open it up, let me go ahead and slip the tape see what's inside. I'll show you the top of it here. This is a big mammer jammer too. I gotta say for $99 it should be a little bit bigger than some of the other ones. All right. And this is what it looks like. The top says cozy winter dream and then it says how to open this box. Prepare your favorite drink, put on your favorite music, settle into your nook or your favorite chair, Take a deep breath and open your Willow Nook box. Cozy up and get creative. And then there's a little note with what's inside. Now, there's some blue tissue paper with a little snowman sticker here. So, so cute. All right, ooh. This is definitely a cozy up box. Now, I know like here in Georgia, we got up, up into the 70s, but down in the mornings, we're still like in the 30s, so it definitely is still cozy up season. And the first thing I see is this gorgeous soft blanket. It's cream with like blue. Blue always just reminds me of winter and chilly. Oh my gosh, this is light. It would be really good to take into spring because of the pastel color. It's got some fringe on it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a nice big blanket too. It keeps going and going and going to see how big it is. Let's see what it says about that guy. That is the interwoven throw blanket in cream and oceanic. That's a good way to look at it too. It doesn't have to be winter. It can be like summer themed with all the blue. It says that this throw is only a $34 value. I'm surprised. It's very, very soft. I'm gonna put this downstairs in my living room on my couches because my dining room opens up into my living room and it's navy blue, so the color is gonna be perfect. Y'all, this is gorgeous. And it feels like one of those blankets that's just gonna get softer and softer the more that you wash it. I'm a sucker for a good tassel too, or fringe. That's beautiful, okay? So that's just one of the items. The next thing we got is some good cozy socks. Who doesn't love a cozy sock moment? I kind of am loving that the girlies are wearing their leggings and then their scrunchy socks over top of them. It feels so 80s to me, like I've done that, but it also feels comforting. So these are by Aroma Souls. They're Neroli and Shea Butter Infused. Rub socks together to release the scent. Hold up a minute. It's very subtle. 
but it smells real good. And it's got little grippies on the bottom of the socks, which is really nice. These are thick and beautiful. Oh my gosh. Do you know, like there are fuzzy socks that you get at the Dollar Tree and y'all know I love the Dollar Tree. So I'm not, I'm not dissing on the Dollar Tree, but all fuzzy socks are not created equal. Like the ones you get at Old Navy or the ones you get at the Dollar Tree, they're not so good. It feels like they fall apart. The, this part of it don't, don't stay up. But you know, when you get a nice pair that you can tell how good they are just by the quality, this is nice. It's going to stay up. Those are pretty aroma soles. I've never heard of those. So it says, what does it say about that? <laughs> aroma soles, normally in shea butter and few slippers, $20. Now they're calling them slippers, which they're thick enough, I think, where they could be. All right, the next thing we have in here looks like this. Okay, it looks like it's liquid. So they wrapped it in this like greeny saran wrap. So I guess if it leaks, it would um, be okay. This is a um, brown sugar vanilla body oil. <gasps> Ooh, look at inside of it. It's an infused body oil. Brown sugar vanilla. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to take a shower or a bath and then put this all over my body, put on some cozy pajamas, settle in to read a book or watch a good movie. Oh, this will set the vibe. And if you've never tried body oils, they're not necessarily like oily. They dry pretty quickly. It takes a few minutes, but you get out of the shower and just barely pat yourself dry, like leave a little moisture on your body and put this on. I just like sit in front of the toilet. Sometimes I'll put a face mask on or, or paint my nails. And within a couple minutes, you're dry and your skin feels so, so good. What does it say about that? That is the brown sugar vanilla jojoba body glow oil. That is a handcrafted item and it is $14. All right. The next thing we got is a frosty flare set of scrunchies. How beautiful. Now my hair's not long enough for scrunchies, but I put it up like pebbles on the top of my head when I go to do my makeup or face masks or anything like that. Some people use a headband. I always use something like this. So these are perfect for me for washing my face and things. Beautiful. Does it say uh, the price of those? $6, all right. There's something floating around down in here, but I think it must have a, a, a mate to it. So I'll wait on that one. We have some moisturizing mittens or moisture mittens smoothing hand mittens with cocoa butter and almond oil. I tried some of these and they are fabulous. I've always done like foot masks, hand masks. Y'all don't judge me, but I've even done a butt mask. Okay. It was in a subscription box and I had to try it and it was pretty darn good, but I had never done a hand mask until this year. And these are lovely. You just put them on your hands. Like I said, cozy up to watch a movie or something. And it does make your hands feel so good. You leave them on for 30 to 60 minutes. And it says that this is a $3 value. See what I mean about lifestyle boxes? There's just a little bit of everything in here. All right, here's the next item wrapped up in brown paper. This feels very mug-like. Yes. Oh, <gasps> It's a mug and a candle. What a brilliant idea. I don't think at all the time I've opened subscription boxes I've ever got a mug candle. This is by Flameworks Apothecary. It's a vanilla latte. Oh, it has a little fire fireside in it. A little like coffee maybe, a nutmeg. A little like vanilla. And then when you're done, you have this gorgeous mug. I'm not like a prissy pot <laughs> who likes to drink my tea out of um, like a teacup. I like my tea in a big mug like this. This is perfect. I love that you burn it and it's, oh my gosh, it's a wood wick. Ah. So if you're new and don't know what a wood wick is, it's just the, the wick is wood and it kind of crackles and pops as it burns. So you not only get the glow of the light, but you get the crackle and pop. It just adds a little ambiance. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is such a good box. All right, the next thing in here. Oh, and that I think goes with these. This is what I kept seeing um, floating around the box. It's a little set of matches and look, their colors are kind of that oceanic was what they call it. 
and they match the colors of the matches to the colors in the box. How clever is that? And I love how they packaged it. Isn't that cute? All right, then we have this guy. We have at least one more item in here after this. Let's see. Oops. Sometimes I go to edit videos and I find like, you know, that I don't notice I've got something like that or like this on there. And I, the whole time I'm editing, I'm like, pay attention. Notice you have something on your shirt. Anyway. All right. Ooh, what is this? Okay. So we got this little croc, which is dang cute. Isn't that adorable? And then we have this guy. Oh, I know what this is. I think this is what you, you put in a potato or you put in anything like a sweet potato that you need to carve and it holds it. Maybe your meat. Let's see what it says. Onion slicing guide, an onion. Oh, how brilliant is that? I, my husband just cut his hand, his little finger pretty, pretty badly. I think it needs to just, he won't go to the uh, urgent care to do it. Um, but this would have been perfect. He was cutting steak. It wasn't that tough. And he said, before he did it. I shouldn't be doing it this way. And then it happened. So this is going to come in very handy, but I love this little crock. Are they calling this anything like, does it have a special name? A reactive glazed ceramic soup crock oven dishwasher and microwave safe. You can have a whole big bowl of chili or I love my smoky lentil soup in here. I love that it's oven and dishwasher safe. Thank you so much. All right, we have a little sticker that says Cozy Winter Dream. All right, that's not part of the box. And then last but not least, ooh. Okay, it makes sense that we would get like a soup crock because our little art card is French onion soup for one. Let me show you what it looks like. So they're hand drawn and this is a recipe that one of her subscribers sent in carissa davis oh i love that sometimes we get recipes and they're like for a big huge amount and we don't want to freeze it or we have to freeze it and we feel like we're eating it forever i love that you can just make french onion soup for one it also makes sense why we got the little onion holder to chop how brilliant is that? Did we have a little card about the Flame Works apothecary who made the candle? Wow. Okay, I thought this was a really good lifestyle box. We got the vanilla latte ceramic mud candle, the brown sugar vanilla body glow oil, the interwoven throw blanket in cream and oceanic, the reactive glazed ceramic soup crock, the Aroma Souls Neroli and Shea Butter Infused Slippers, the Moisture Mittens, I'm excited for those, the Onion Slicing Guide, the Frosty Flare Scrunchies, and the Art Recipe Card. And you know what? They're saying guide. So I think when you put this in an onion, you can actually put your knife, a lot of you are probably saying, duh, we already figured that out. You put your knife in between here to get the perfect slices. So it won't just hold your onion, but it'll as, act as a guide. All right. So if you want to check out the Willow Nook box, you can use my discount code for $10. All of the codes are going to be under this video, under the description. But if you can't find the description box, just go all the way up to the first comma under this video. And I will have everything listed there. All right, we are going to move on to the journal junk box now journal junk box has a lot of different subscriptions uh there's so many videos of me opening all four but i've kind of broken them up this month this one is their big mammer jammer so if you love stationery pens journals notebooks stickers washi tape all of that then you are going to love this subscription now this one has sometimes a little twist of a lifestyle item in it it is 52 dollars 99 now i i've just been sharing this lately Journal Junk Box has a big, huge discount. And a lot of boxes give you a discount if you get a six or 12 month, but I think this one gives you the biggest discount. If you get a 12 month subscription, this goes from $52.99 a month to $44.99 a month. And 
she charges you that price monthly. You don't have to pay up front, which is really nice. So if you're considering getting this box, considering consider getting a six or a 12 month subscription because you're gonna save a little extra money on here. So this is what the box looks like. Now I do have a discount code for 15% off, which I will link down below. It will work on all her other subscription boxes too. She has a little sack, which I just opened in my budget friendly subscription box. She has an amazing creative kids box as well as a little digital subscription that's only $4.99. Now she just started doing the boxes in these plain boxes which I have been saving because they're perfect for Christmas or birthday when you're needing to wrap something. I love them and I love that she's kind of changed that from just a regular decorated box. All right now this was their February box. Journal Junk Box sends their boxes very early, like by the first or the second of the month, you will have your box. I just have it, I'm just getting to opening it. Um, so this I think is a Valentine's Day subscription. The theme is Radiant You. She gives you four journal prompts. So if you're starting journaling, or maybe you've been journaling for a long time and there's gotta be days where you're like, what am I gonna write today? <laughs> she gives you some prompts on there and on this card. Now every month we get this black and white tissue in here. So tiny journal babes. All right, so here we go. And I see this may be our little lifestyle product this time. Oh, I think this one might be too. Looks like we're gonna get some kind of beautiful tumbler. Let's check this out. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Look, oh, it's got words on it. Hold on. It says, bring yourself, being yourself is the prettiest thing you can be. And it's got these little flowers. Now there is a straw that's going to go in the top. Isn't that beautiful though? How pretty. Being yourself is the prettiest thing you can be. How true. So if you're like, mm, I'm not sure I need another tumbler in my cabinet, this would be so pretty in an Easter basket. It'd be great for Mother's Day. It would be great to throw in as a little encouragement to somebody or a birthday gift. You can stick it on your shelf. All right, next thing we have is a little tote bag. I'm a tote bag girly. I love them so much. I've kind of ditched all my other bags in lieu of just a tote bag. They're easy. I don't even carry a lunch bag to work. I just put everything in my tote bag. It says do all things with love. And how sweet is this? If you need to run errands, maybe do some returns or something. This is like the perfect size. Or again, for a lunch tote, this would make a great birthday bag too. If you need a little gift bag, it does have a little place in the bottom, like a cardboard piece that you kind of put in the bottom so it stays like this. Wouldn't that be cute if you were just taking a little gift to a hostess or somebody in the hospital or something? I love when items in a box have multiple uses. Like you can keep them, you can gift them, whatever. All right, the next thing we have in here is the Be Mine Jotter Pins. They say, hey cutie, XOXO, and <laughs> you my boo. Sunshine Squad, you my boo. Y'all are my boos. Okay, here you go. These are what they look like. How cute are these? I wonder if the ink is the color of the pen. Let's give it a go. Hold on. I have a little paper here. Hold on. All right, here we go. Uh, it is. Now I'm writing very messy because the flap of this lid is moving as I'm writing. But the ink is the color of the pen. I love this stuff for my planner. But it's great for journaling and things too. I love this hot coral color. Mm, good. All right, the next thing we have is some like ephemera is what I think they're calling this now. It says bits and pieces, simple vintage love story. We get 47 cutouts. They look like this. And there is butterflies and stamps and birds and all kinds of things. If you're into card making or scrapbooking, this would be great if you journal junk, like junk journal. That would be the way to say it. Junk journal. This would be perfect. Look at this bird right up on the top. Oh, it's two. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. If you guys have never watched junk journaling videos, man, be prepared to go down the rabbit hole. They're so interesting. I've said for years, I kind of wanted to get into it, but I'm just afraid that I will get sucked in and won't be able to get out. So any kind of paper crafting that you have, this is happily ever after. That would be cute to put on a, like a wedding card. If 
you make cards, this one says always. So they have a little bit of a love theme to them. But there's also tons of, there's an and. There's tons of like little picture ones too. Oh, this is like a little paint palette with a butterfly. Or you can make that a makeup palette, I guess. I think it's a paint palette because we have a brush. But there's 47 pieces of ephemera in here. So like I said, whether you like to junk journal or card make or scrapbook or anything, that would be perfect for that. All right, the next thing we have in here is a notebook. I need one of these. I need a lined. This size is perfect. This is how, if I'm if I'm doing videos, this is how I take notes. And this is the size that I really, really enjoy using. So it's lined. It's got little flowers above it. So some of this is kind of Valentine's-y, but I love that it's also spring with the flowers all over it. And how cute would this be put together if you need a little gift? Like if your kid comes home and is like, it's my teacher's birthday tomorrow and, it, and it's not on your radar or somebody at work needs a gift or something, that would be perfect. Then we have the journal love notes. And I said in the little journal junk sack that I opened in another video, these are my favorite, favorite notebooks that they do. These little spiral bound notebooks. I think they make these in house. And I love them. They're lightweight. They fit down in a purse. The paper is really nice. They're thick. So whether you just need to take notes or journal or run your errands or whatever, this is great to have. All right. We have a little stamp that says love with a heart. All right. And then we have a magnetic dry erase board. How neat is this? So I think this little pink one is gonna hold your pen to the magnetic board and it's pink. So you can put this on the side of your filing cabinet or on your refrigerator or wherever you've got a magnetic surface to kind of keep you going. My kids both had dry erase boards when they were in school. I found that that helped them like stay on task. So as adults, I think that's a good tip too. I think anytime we can erase something off of our to-do list, it gives us a sense of accomplishment and kind of keeps us moving forward. All right, so that was our journal junk box. Gosh, I really liked it. We got the notebook, the journal, the cup, the bag, the ephemera, the pens, the stamp. I feel like there was something else. The tote bag, there was a lot in there. So if you wanna check out journal junk box, you can use my discount code for 15% off. All right, the next box we're gonna talk about is our bath bevy box. I love bath bevy so much. Um, I'm actually going to separate the bath bevy tub list and the bath box into part one and part two. So today we're going to open the tub list box. If you are a shower girl, you're not a bath girl, like you don't have a tub, you don't like to take a bath, can't get in and out of the bath, whatever, for whatever reason, you don't need tub products, they have a shower box for you guys. So inside of this box, you'll get shower steamers, I just used one this morning, body scrubs, candles, body wash, all kinds of interesting things. Now this particular box is $42, I believe, and some chains like $42.13, something like that. And you get six handmade products. Now in this subscription, um, you get lots of things that are on their website. So if you are not sure if you want to invest in a whole box, you can go on there and try their shower steamers or their bath bombs or their bubble bars or whatever and give it a go. But I always say if you do that, be prepared because you are going to be hooked. They have the best scents in here. They usually will work with other like bath small companies and put one of their items in the box too. So it's not exclusively all uh, Bath Bevy products, but this is what it looks like. Actually, I think I said the price wrong. It's coming to my head now. I believe the price is $43.21 for this box, and I have that discount code for 20% off. All right, so here we have Love is in the Air. We kind of got all the Valentine themed boxes. So cute with the paper airplanes, right? And on the back has everything inside. This one doesn't have like a strong aroma. Some boxes you open them and you're like, oh my gosh, what's in here? It smells so good. This one's more lightly scented. All right, we're gonna pull these guys out. Hold on. And then it's very pink and girly. All right, so the first thing I see is a Love Note handmade soap. It's so pretty. Mmm, this smells really fresh and really clean. I wonder if they tell us the notes of this. 
It says the invigorating scents of mandarin orange, bergamot, and tangerine with notes of fresh peaches, strawberries, raspberries, and wild musk. This handmade soap bar is a silky soft treat for your skin. That smells delightful. All right, then we have their body wash. This is their Love Spell body wash. It says delight your senses with this lavishly lush, lush blend of orange, peach, cherry blossom, and white jasmine for the perfect morning treat. So this sounds like it's going to be like a wake you up scent. Ooh, you really get that punch of like the mandarin orange. I like this a lot. You don't get a lot of the floral. Ooh, this is going right in my shower. Like I'm bumping something for this. That is lovely. Okay, love spell. Hopefully we'll get something else in the scent. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. All right, the next thing we got is red velvet cupcakes whipped soap. So you just scoop this out. I use this to shave my legs, which is great, but you just scoop it out. You can kind of rub it all over your body. It's just a different kind of soap versus a liquid soap or a bar. Okay, then we have love and kisses whipped soap scrub. Now this, this, if you don't get the subscription box, but you're curious enough to go over to Bath Bevy and buy some stuff from their website, get one of their soap scrubs. They are the best. They scoop out. They don't run through your hands. A lot of soap scrubs have like oils and things in them. So by the time you've pulled them out, they're like running. This is more like a putty. So it's really easy to work with. I just scoop it out, rub it between my hands. And then it's a soap and a scrub in one. It has the perfect amount of of scrub. I like a scrubby scrub. This one is not too scrubby, but it has a lot of scrub in it. So if you're trying to get rid of a self tan or you just feel like your skin is dry and you're trying to kind of slough it off to get some good body oil on your skin and get it moisturized, this is perfect. So this is called Love and Kisses. This light and fluffy whipped soap scrub is a luxurious exfoliating cleanser that will leave your skin feeling clean, soft, and moisturized without any greasy or sticky feel. The Love and Kisses scent fuses sweet blackberries and raspberries with rich velvety vanilla cream, and it's the perfect balance of sweet and tart. I kind of like this fruity box. All right, what is this? Okay, we got a little twofer here. I'm wondering if these are shower steamers. Now, if they are, they're a little bit smaller than their normal ones, but they're always changing things up. Yes, okay. This is that love spell that I liked in the body wash. Ooh, this smells good. So we have the love spell shower steamer, and then we have a pink champagne shower steamer. Now, my daughter is about, uh, is gonna have some surgery. We thought it was gonna be in a couple weeks and they've moved it up. So I'm actually taking a little road trip to be with her and help. And I think I'm going to put these in my um, suitcase because I have a feeling if I'm sleeping in the hospital for a couple of nights, <laughs> this might make me feel a little bit more human. So I love the smaller size. All right. What else? All right. The last thing we have is a candle. This is called um, Cherry. Ooh, Yes. Cherries are my favorite fruit. Like anything that I could have cherry flavor, it's got some little glitter on the top. Perfect for a nightstand or next to your tub or shower in your bathroom. And they always add this little touch of their bath bevy matches. So you're good to go. All right, that was my tubless box. Like I said, I'll be opening my tub box in part two. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna try bath bevy, I have that discount code for 20% off. All right, y'all. We're moving along. Let me grab my blade here. All right, so the next box we're gonna talk about is actually the tiered tray decor box. This is a monthly, mm. all right. All right, so the next box we're gonna take a look at is my tiered tray decor box. So if you're unfamiliar with what a tiered tray is, it's exactly like what it sounds. It's a tray that has multiple layers or tiers. Some of them have two, some of them have three. You can get metal ones or wood ones, all kinds of different finishes. I just picked mine up at TJ Maxx. They have a ton of variety usually over there for under $24.99. I love tiered trays so much that I have three in my house. I have one in my dining room, which I kind of leave the same. I have one here in the bedroom that's got some office supplies or things that I can grab really quickly if I need to um, 
use something for a video like a, a makeup brush or something but the one in my kitchen is the one that I'm constantly changing up I change it up almost monthly like it was just Valentine's Day and now it's Easter themed in the summer I'll do like a black and yellow theme with bees I have a fourth of July one a fall one all kinds of different ones and it's just a way to make a space in your home happy I had a space in my kitchen that I wasn't sure what to do with and I love just mixing it up without having to redecorate the whole room so that's that's where this box comes in every month they're going to send you about four to six items to help you decorate your tiered tray it's fifty dollars a month and i do have a discount code for ten percent off now i always say in this box you're not going to get enough initially to fill up a tiered tray but as you're getting them and collecting them you're going to be able to pick and choose from past boxes things that will mix together like i have this gorgeous little white pitcher it's so cute and it's always no matter what I change it up to that little white picture always sits at the top and I just changed the little sprig of greenery for Easter I had like a red sprig for or, or for Valentine's Day for Easter I might do pastels or something um, but anyway you can mix and match uh, uh, with what you have and you collect along the way so let's go ahead and give it a little look-see Ooh, it looks like it's Easter themed so this is what I mean about changing up the greenery. So a lot of times the back side of a tiered tray, mine kind of sits in a corner, just needs a little something in the back. You don't need something big, but just something easy. This would be perfect. Or like I said, in the top of that little picture. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the color. All right. The next thing we have is a little set of eggs. So pretty. And a little carton. All right, let's see, this might just be filler. Yeah, I think this is just filler for the box. Okay, we have something wrapped in bubble wrap here. Oh, how cute is this little guy? He's adorable. Sometimes I'll put candy in my tiered tray so he would be cute with little jelly beans sitting there. He's got the cutest little feet. Adorable. All right, here's a little sign that says happy easter you could use this as an ornament if you wanted or a lot of times i will just like tape this behind it and set it on the tiered tray cute i love the big egg and little pink light in the front all right the next thing we says it we got is oh for peep's sake it took me a minute to read it through the cellophane. It says, oh, for peep's sake. And it's got a little peep. <laughs> How adorable. That's definitely got to be put on my tear tray. And he's holding a little Easter egg there. All right. And last but not least, we have this guy. It says, some bunny loves you. That's really cute too. So with that little white picture at the top of my tear tray, and then I would put this in front of it, that's gonna be so cute together. I love that. I love the O for peep's sake too. So if you wanna check out the tear tray decor box, you can use my discount code for 10% off. Y'all, we're down to our very last box, and that is our Centibration box. This is a monthly candle slash wax melt subscription box. So every month for $34.99, you're going to get two 16 ounce candles. Those are huge, as well as two wax melt barks. Sometimes you get a little extra in here too. I do have a discount code for 50% off your first box if you're interested. Let's go ahead and give it a go. They do have just a candle subscription if you're interested. All right, it says a memory in every candle. All right, there's a little note here. I think she writes a little note to everybody in their box. Yeah, she does. And it tells about um, the box here. Let's see, it says, uh, it's peanut butter jelly time. We're cherished memories of our childhood lunches to come. Unwrap the delightful scents of creamy peanut butter, luscious blackberry jelly, warm wheat bread, and a refreshing glass of milk. Okay, so that might be a hint to some things in the box. We have this cute blackberry jam <laughs> colored um, tissue, and it does look like we have a free gift in this one. So like I said, sometimes we get something free, and this is a little copper candle snuffer 
So you just snuff out the top of your candle with this without having to blow it out. How pretty is that? That is gorgeous. Okay, so we've got this candle. Do you see how big they are? I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck in this particular subscription box. Okay, this one is Blackberry Jam. It's hand poured in Michigan. She always does this color wax, which is nice. Ooh, yeah. It doesn't smell sweet like jam. It's, it smells like tart, like blackberry. It's a very bright, happy scent. I would love to be burning this in my bedroom and walk in, which is exactly what I will do. So that's the first candle. All right, here's the second candle. Looks like this. I wonder if this is peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, have you ever seen a peanut butter scented candle? I'm not sure if I have. It really does smell like peanut butter. It really does. How do they do that? This would be fun to like burn one in your kitchen and one in your living room. And I wonder if the scents waft together, if it would smell like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know what though? You're not going to... It smells like peanut butter, but I think when you burn it, it's just going to smell fresh and a little nutty. This is lovely. It's lovely. You almost smell the creaminess of the peanut butter. Between the two of these, it says that it has a 200-hour burn time. That's a lot of burn time for a candle. All right, then we have two wax melts. One is buttercream. This is what it looks like. And, oh, they're both buttercream. Okay, so these are the same scent. And then we have some wax bark wheat bread. How fun! I gotta open this and smell it because I don't I don't know what a wheat wheat bread wax bark would smell like. Oh. Just ignore that I just opened that with my mouth. It smells like fresh baked bread. Shut up. It smells like fresh baked bread with like warm cream butter melted on the top. This smells insane. Insane. Oh my gosh. I really liked this box this time. And I love that we got a little freebie. That happens occasionally with the little snuffer. How adorable. And we got two of the wax uh, barks. Two wax bricks and two candles for $34.99. Plus, you can get my discount code for 50% off your first box. All right, that was round one, part one of this video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for round two because I have some good ones coming up. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.